think for me, certainly, there's been um, some like questionable things that are like that people can run with and make assumptions. You know, people who who view or watch soccer games or write about me or whatever is going on. I, I generally know that that they don't have a full view of, of who I am, and it's okay. I kind of just like do my own thing outside of it, and that's it's good for me. It's interesting, uh, the perceptions people have, but you can't do anything about that. I was kind of like everybody else. I kind of had a, a pretty serious opinion about Stephen Lenhart, you know? Watched him on the field and thought, you know, what's, what's this guy all about? Dude, these are ridiculous. What are you feeding these things? Steroids. <laughs> what were you gonna show me? Oh, buddy. So you just like this in the woods, and this is how you sleep? Yeah. I got to see how you do it, man. You've got to be kidding me. And you just chill out yeah. in nature. Yeah, that's it. Just waiting for a bear to come get you. It's actually pretty comfy. This is where it all started, on the open road. Lenny, Lenny was avoiding me for about a good month, I'd say, when I got to the team. Because he, when he, when no, he got no, here. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll tell it straight. Because he, he considered me competition, so he was gonna, he was giving me the strong arm. He wasn't gonna talk to me. The only competition that we had going on was your hair versus my hair. <laughs> we never had anything else. I think they're a little bit misunderstood on the field. Um, then off the field, they're, they're, they're completely different. Lenny's just a jokester, he's smiling all the time, and, and Gordo's the same way, he's a laid back guy. He's, he's got a very easy going way about him, he's a, he's a beach guy. You know, he, uh, he lives to be by the ocean. It's interesting, you, you'd think, you know, guys competing for a spot, it, it wouldn't be the right formula to, to be best friends. You know, initially you'd think, you know, there may be some hard feelings, but there's not. They have a great relationship, you know, and I think it's, it's kind of a, a privilege for one to get subbed on for one another. They just have a, a real determination that they're there to win. And that's not just in games, that's in practice every day. It's unlike any competition that I've had on any other team with other forwards um, competing with Gordo because we are such good friends and it is something that we have a good understanding on where we, we trust each other and we know that whoever's on the field is for the team. Sometimes when Lenny puts in a full shift, you know, and I know like the energy and, and you know, he's bleeding and he's put in a lot of hard work. And then I come on and kind of just in the right place at the right time, kind of feel bad. I want to give him those goals. You know, it's kind of the relationship we have, right? They're always approachable, you know, but they're, they're very fiery competitors. And when those guys step on the field, it's, it's business. Give, 
you know, everything we have to the team. And sometimes it comes off, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But at the end of the day, we can go home and say, you know, we gave everything we had. And that's all we care about. Earthquakes, substitution in the 65th minute. Now entering the match, number 14, Adam John. For number 16, Stephen Lennart. You know, there's, there's always that intensity in, in sports, you know, and I think the, the real credit to both of them is that they can make that separation, as, as all professionals should. Soccer is not my life. I, there's other things that I enjoy, that I find life in, and those are very important to me. And that's kind of the point. We want to live our lives, you know. We want to experience life. You know, we, we give everything when we're at practice and soccer and games, but we leave it there, and then we come and enjoy life.